Welcome to my new plan with me video. So this year I was using a planner that I got in Korea and you can see it's quite full. Lots of stickers, lots of notes, um, lots of things in the front and back as well. But I'd like to take a more minimal approach for 2019. This is actually one of three journals, so it's a four month planner. So this is the last one in the series and you may have seen my video review on this journal earlier this year where I have two of these. Some pages are quite minimal, others are really busy. So with that, it's time for me to decide which planner I want to use next year. I decided to use the campus um, book from Japan, this notebook with square pages. So actually this notebook is quite old and I ripped out a few pages in the front and I thought I would just recycle and use it as a bujo this year. But as you can see over there, the pages don't look really good, the front cover is a little damaged, um, so I don't really want to use this and I already made a few mistakes in here. Luckily, I did have another campus journal, which is unused. You can see the price tag is still here, so let me take that off first. So with me, I have a simple ruler and a black pen and a pink pen and also a thinner black pen, which I will use later. What I'm doing now is I'm opening the new book and just writing the title on the front of it. All right, so the first page is gonna be an index. That's something that I missed in my first try uh, for the book on the left. So I'm just going through the first bujo I made and writing down what I would like to be in it in order. Okay, once my index is done, it's time to write my goals for the year. I'm putting a concept or like a general buckets at the top and then a list of sub goals within it. Here I'm going to write Bible verses for each month. So in pink I have a general Bible verse for the whole year. And then here I'm just counting to see which months I can fit in. And then I'm just going to write the verse name for every month. Okay, here's some footage in real time. <laughs> This is my YouTube tracker. For each month, I'm going to track how many um, general subscribers I have. And 100,000 subscribers gets a little pink crown. As you can see, I'm using very minimal use of color, just pink for accents, keeping it black and white for everything else. Something else I've decided to do this year is keep a book and a movie log to keep track of how many books I read, how many movies I watch. Now I'm going to make a habit tracker for the whole year. I've decided to do it in this format that I have the 1 to 31 on the left and then on the bottom, the months. So this will actually be for the entire year. And my key is an up arrow for something good and positive, a straight line for average, and a down arrow for like a bad day. Clearly, I am very bad at counting. <laughs> uh, I was counting the letters in the word January so that I could fit it right in the middle. I don't think I put it in the middle. <laughs> So I've got an interesting calendar approach here. I write 1 to 15 on the other side and then the other 15 or 16 days of the month on the other side of the line. And then label the day of the week in pink. And then with a thinner pen for detail and definition, I write what happens on that day. And gratitude is something very important, something that I really want to practice more in 2019, to learn to be more grateful for the things I have. So I've categorized this into interpersonal, personal, and other. So interpersonal would be, you know, I'm grateful for this person who came into my life or grateful for having coffee with XYZ person. Personal would be, you know, I'm grateful for helping myself feel good about myself. 
Over here I'm comparing the habit tracker I made in my first Bujo attempt and rewriting it in this book. So I've written the days of the month for January and instead of words I'm just putting little symbols for my habits so hopefully you can figure out what they mean. I'm not telling you. <laughs> Next is my language tracker, something I've never actually kept up with, so hopefully a simplified approach will be better. I'm using a colored dot for each language and um, indicating whether it's active or passive studying for that day. So very minimal and simple, just a dot and an arrow to indicate what I did that day. All right, next we move on to pretty much the biggest task, which is the weekly spread. I'm taking inspiration from the journal I used this year. Um, and I like their Pansong Gua Tajim, which is like uh, looking back on the week, good things, bad things. So first I'm just writing the date, drawing a line. And since the 1st of January 2019 is on a Tuesday, I'm just going to start this week with a Tuesday. On the right, I'm drawing a column with a bit of a thinner pen, and this will be a section for notes and sort of a weekly review. And then the next three days of the week on the next page. And that, my friends, is my Bujo for 2019. I hope you enjoyed the video. If you've got any Bujo tips, please let me know in the comments. And a very, very happy new year to everybody. Bye-bye.